Hey guys, this is Giridhar here. The Honor 5X was announced in CES earlier this year and it quickly made it to India. It is the first mobile with a, what do you call a metal body with a fingerprint sensor at the back design. Uh, at rupees 12,499, the Honor 5X has got fierce competitors like the La One S or even the Redmi Note 3. Huawei is a master when it comes to making low cost mobile feel premium and appeal to a larger set of audience. So let us dive in and talk about the Honor 5X in detail. The Honor 5X is a 5.5 inch device which feels very sleek and premium in the hand. It is available in three colors, the silver, gold and black. The back of the mobile has a brushed metal finish and it makes the mobile stand out in the crowd. It does have plastic, the top is plastic, the bottom is plastic, but still the mobile feels premium. The plastic meets the metal seamlessly to give a unibody design. The mix of plastic and metal gives the Honor 5X a better grip. The mobile is not slippery to hold and it feels really comfortable to use. It has the headphone jack on the top, power and volume buttons at the right, the micro USB port is flanked by the speaker grills at the bottom. The Honor 5X has varieties of card slots. It can take in a micro SIM card, it can take in a nano SIM card and along with these two SIM cards, it can also take in a micro SD card for the memory expansion. The display is a 5.5 inch IPS LCD panel which supports full HD resolution. The bezels are really thin and the display has a higher body to display ratio. The full HD display is a welcome upgrade in this segment. The colors in the display are vibrant and brightly saturated. It has got good brightness levels and good direct sunlight readability. The ambient light sensor is quick and responsive to change the brightness levels accordingly. Also, the contrast ratio is decent. Multiple viewing angles don't affect the colors, but I feel that the contrast varies with the different angles. Though there is option to tweak the color temperature, the default settings by itself is warm and easy on the eyes. The Honor 5X is powered by a powerful Snapdragon 616 octa-core processor. In some parts, the Honor 5X has got 3 GB of RAM, but my review unit, which is available in India, has got a 2 GB of RAM. It is assisted by an Adreno 405 GPU for the graphics. Honestly, I felt that the 3 GB RAM would have been better than the 2 GB RAM. Loading graphic intensive games took a bit longer, but once loaded, the apps and the games ran smoothly. Graphic intensive games did show signs of lag and frame drops, prolonged gaming or shooting videos render the mobile warmer than the room temperature but I wouldn't say that it's got any sort of overheating issues. Occasionally the UI also lagged a bit. Disabling the transition animation from the developer option eased the lag to a great extent. The benchmark test performance was good and met expectations from a device in the segment. The Honor 5X is not a beast on performance but when it comes to handling your everyday task it would be a smooth sail. Fingerprint scanners were a luxury enjoyed only on the top end smartphones, but the story has been completely turned around by the CoolPad Note 3. Taking cue from there, many smartphones now have fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner on Honor 5X is at the back just below the camera module. It is as fast as the sensor in the CoolPad Note 3. Its accurate and success rate of responding to a valid fingerprint is almost 100% at the first contact. The fingerprint scanner in Honor 5X can do more than just unlocking the screen. It can secure a files, make or answer a call, click pictures and also open apps. Each finger can be configured for different actions. It can take up to 5 fingers and just for the sake I also tried with my lip print. It worked. To register the fingerprint it just requires 5 imprints and it was faster than any other fingerprint scanner which we have seen in the past. The fingerprint scanner can be sensed from any angle on the sensor. The fingerprint scanner on the Honor 5X is not just fast, it is versatile as well. The Honor 5X has a 13 megapixel sensor with a fast f2.0 lens on the rear. The camera app UI is heavily inspired by the iPhone but it does the job. The shutter button is big, bright and easy to access. The shutters can also be activated by the volume keys but it can program to act as zoom or even the focus button. It supports pinch to zoom. Apart from the auto mode, there is a beauty mode to enhance skin tone softening and a food mode to click pictures of the food. The video mode can capture videos of up to 1080p FPS. It also has a time lapse mode, but there is no slow motion. Also, the mobile lacks manual mode for clicking images. On the picture mode, tapping anywhere on the screen focuses the object. Also, you can slide a finger to adjust exposure once the focus is locked. 
Long pressing the screen gives you ability to focus on an object and simultaneously adjust the exposure based on another zone in the frame. As far as the image quality is concerned, Honor 5X impresses with the sharpness and contrast under ample light conditions. Also, it does not disappoint under low light conditions, but it lacks a good dynamic range. The front facing 5 megapixel camera can take wide angle selfies. It did produce some sharp results under daylight and relatively decent self portraits under indoor lighting. Overall, the Honor 5X impresses with its camera to a certain extent, but considering the price of this device and the competition available in this range, it falls a bit short of being called a great affordable camera mobile. The Honor 5X is powered by Android 5.1.1 out of the box and it is skinned with the EM UI or the Emotion UI on top. The native Android experience has been changed in every corner possible. The launcher does not have an app drawer, but it has an app desk with all the installed apps laid out on the home screen. The notification tray has a timeline like UI and the shortcut toggles are visible on a swipe from the notification screen. The menu keys are laid out on the screen which is a lot better than the non-backlit menu keys. The app switcher UI is outdated and clearing the app running on the background is a gesture that you will eventually learn because it's not that intuitive. Honor 5X is equipped with a 3000mAh lithium polymer battery. Also, the mobile is powered by a mid-range processor and it's got a 1080p display. So the battery life is not at all an issue with the Honor 5X. The phone comes bundled with a 5V 1A charger, though it supports 2A charger. Having said a lot of things about the Honor 5X, it all boils down to the price, especially in this segment. The Honor 5X is priced at Rs 12,499 and for the price you pay, here is what you get. You get a stylish metal design with a quality construction material. You get a good quality 5.5 inch full HD display. You get a fast and accurate fingerprint sensor. You get a decent camera and a good battery life. On the downside, the performance of Honor 5X is not lag free. The mid range processor and 2GB of RAM manages to keep the mobile running for average daily activities and you dare not ask anything more than that. The EMUI is evolving and it is getting mature with every version. Uh, with the EMUI 4.0 around the corner, a lot can be expected from Honor 5X. If you are considering to buy the Honor 5X, obviously you will consider the other alternatives in the same price range and design language, which would be the uh, La 1S or even the newly launched Redmi Note 3. The La 1S has a beast of a processor, but it falls short in battery performance. The Redmi Note 3 has a fantastic camera and a very mature UI, but availability is a concern. I would recommend the Honor 5X for anyone who is looking to buy a good smartphone in this price range. Thanks for watching the video, this is Girida signing off and stay tuned to more of my videos by subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, click the button which reads S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E just below this video.